I knew him as Solus. Smart, thoughtful, loved to hear himself talk. But long ago, he had a different name. The Dreadwolf. Ancient elven god of lies, or heroic rebel against tyranny, depending on which story you believe. In his desperate fight against the corrupt elven gods, Solus imprisoned them, creating a veil that split our world from the raw magic of the Fade. He had won. But the veil cost the elves everything. Their magic, their freedom, even their immortality. Now, Solus wants to tear down that veil and undo the damage he caused, even if that means our world has to burn. Somebody's gotta stop him, and that's where you come in.
Time to get to work. <laughs> What's he been saying now? <laughs> What's he been saying now? So, where were we? Oh, right. Him. Our best plan is to stop the Dreadwolf before he can perform his ritual. After following his trail across half the known world, we finally tracked him to Manrathus, capital of the Tevinter Imperium. But to find the Dreadwolf in a city this big, we need a local expert. So, naturally, our story begins where all great stories begin. With the seediest bar in town. And a missing contact. Let's try this again. Where's Nev Gallus? You think you can come into my bar and make demands? It's not a demand, it's an offer. Telling me what I need to know is, is the smart play here. How'd you figure, sweet talker? Nev Gallus is my only shot at finding the Dreadwolf. I need to know where she is. We were supposed to meet here, in your bar. But you let Venatory cultists drag her away. I didn't let them. They paid me. So answer my questions and walk away with the coin. Or spend it cleaning up the place when I'm through. Your choice. You're adorable. Dumad Plaza. That's where you'll find Nev Gallus. Thank you. You want to get yourself killed fighting the Venatori? It's your ass. That offer's good for all of you, too. No? If they won't listen to you, they can always listen to Bianca. Your friend Nev Gallus is at Dumont Plaza. I heard. That's why you're my second in command. Although for the record, you might be too charming for your own good. What did I have to worry about? You were there watching my back. 
Yeah, yeah. Come on. Harding will be worried. All right. Break's over. I hope Nev's as good at finding people as you claim. She's the best damn detective I've ever met. If she says she's got a lead on Solus, I believe her. The Archon's Palace. Something must have gotten them riled up. Should we be in more of a hurry to get out of here? We don't want to look conspicuous. Just get out of here nice and casual. Find Nev Gallus and stop Solus. Andraste, I bless you. You still think you can talk him down before he starts his big ritual? That ritual is going to tear down the veil. The only thing separating us from the Fade and an endless number of demons. I have to talk him down. After us, is it because of the bar? Word travels fast in Minrathus. We've got to help her. We don't have time to get arrested, especially if we. Solus before it finishes. Let's go! Harding's this way. She'll get us to Dumont Plaza, then Nev will get us to Solus. Watch out! Is Solus something demons on purpose? My guess is the veil is weakening, and they're slipping through the cracks. down completely and the whole world is going to look a lot like this come on this way it should get us to harding You're safe now. Get inside and bar the doors quick as you can, okay? Thank you, miss. Harding, you all right? I've been doing what I can to help. The ritual must be weakening the veil. There are a lot of scared people out here. And a lot of demons. Haven't seen this many come through the Fade in years. And what about you two? Are you okay? Caught some demons, and the Archon's palace took a few shots at us. Nothing we couldn't handle. Speak for yourself. Have you got my gear? Right over there. Where's Nev Gallus? Wasn't she at the meeting point? The Venatori got to her first. They grabbed her before we arrived and paid off the bar owner to keep it quiet. I'm not surprised our detective did something to piss off a cult of murderous blood mages. But their timing stinks. The bar owner said the Venatori took Nev to Dumont Plaza. Can you get us there, Harding? Not a problem. I saw Dumont Plaza while I was scouting the area, and it was crawling with Venatori. Follow me. Eyes up! We've got company! Uh. 
up if you need it. I don't get it. If Solus tears down the vet you are in violation of his Looks like the Venatori put up a barrier to block the way. More intruders! Avenge our fallen brethren! You friendly bunch of cultists, aren't they? The crows have taken our contracts off them. Nasty bastards. Yep, that's it. Sliding down. The allies of Neb Gallus! Kill them all! timing Nev it's so good to see you we thought the Venatori had kidnapped you they thought the same thing a lot of Venatori in this city have reason to hate me figured I'd play along find out who wanted to settle the score this time then the sky started raining demons so I'm back on the job appreciate it Rook this is Nev Gallus our local expert she's gonna help us find Solus Nev meet Rook. Harding and I found him a while back. Thought we could use an expert on trouble. Rook, like the chess piece? One of the strongest pieces on the board, but he tends to think in straight lines. Nice to meet you. Based on the Venatori, you've got excellent taste in enemies. I do my best. You said you had a lead? I haven't seen Solus in person, but I did find hints of old magic, similar to what you get in elven ruins. I traced it to a building beneath Our Lady of Victory. That's where your man is hiding. Then let's go, before this ritual he's doing gets any worse. 
worse. This ritual is already drawing more power than I'd expect from a dozen mages. You told me he was working alone. I also told you he was an ancient elven god. An elven god? Well, whatever he is, he's causing trouble in my city. Let's go. So if we do catch Solus, or the Dread Wolf, whatever he calls himself, what's the plan? He wants to bring down the veil. Hopefully that ritual takes his full attention. So we catch him while he's doing his ritual, so he can't fight us. That's the hope. If it comes to a straight up fight, we're dead. Tori also found it, and then demons found them. We should head back. Solus is probably inside. So this is the Dread Wolf's hideout. One of them, at least. Not sure how long he's been here. Some of this looks ancient. Solus has been around longer than Menrathus itself. Broken chains. Solus is freeing slaves. Solus hates slavery. One of the few things we actually agreed on. He said the other elven gods were tyrants who oppressed his people. He was trying to help them. What do you see? No sign of Solus. Just a big glowing window or mirror or something. Well, that sounds ominous. Locked. 
There must be a way to open it. Let's look around. Ed, magic. Solus used a lot of power for something. Solus, the Dreadwolf, Fen Harel. He's got a lot of names. I always called him Chuckles. Nice work. Let's see what's on the other side. This the big glowing window you saw earlier, Rook. It's called an Alluvian. They're elven and very old. It acts like a doorway from one place to another. Solus uses them to get around quickly. He must have gone through it. Arlathan Forest. And there's your ritual. The power involved. I've never seen anything like it. The tremors are getting worse. And we've got demons. Back in Midrathus. The fade's a mess this close to the ritual. No telling what could come through. Does it feel like those tremors are getting worse? Keep moving and try not to think about it.
demon this large get through the veil? It's a pride demon. Damn thing probably sets Solus's ego. Everyone all right? Good enough. Let's get to Solus. Positive. You three just keep the demons off me while I talk to him. Varric, Solus isn't gonna stop just because an old friend asks nicely. Solus needs someone to sell him another option, to help him justify changing his mind. We've got your back. If anyone can get through to him, you can. Thanks, Rook. Whatever else he is, he's my friend. And if he won't listen to me, then he'll hear from Bianca. More demons! Take care of the team for me. Hey, Chuckles. Hope I'm not interrupting. Let's buy him some time. We better talk fast. We can't hold these demons off forever. The veil is a wound inflicted upon this world. It must be healed. By drowning the world in demons? I have taken precautions to minimize the damage, Varric. Minimize them. People are dying right now. You need to listen. Please. People are always dying. It is what they do. We need a better plan. Do you want me to take the shot? Won't work. He's too powerful. What if we disrupt the ritual? How? See those statues? If we break the scaffolding holding that one up, the whole thing will come down on Solus. It's risky. Interrupting a ritual at this scale will have consequences. And what about the demons? Varric needs us to hold them off. Right. You two stay here. I'll bring down the statue. What? No. Stepping into all that raw magic is suicide. The storm could tear you apart. Anyone got a better idea? Fine, but you'll need backup. I'm with you. I'm a mage. I'll go. Either way, someone needs to stay back and deal with the demons. Let's go, Nev. Harding, keep the demons busy. Good luck.
it. We need to bring down the scaffolding. Why? Why tear down the veil? Knowing all the lives it'll cost. We shared a journey years ago. Do you believe that I would do this if there was some other better option? The pillar's weak, but... It isn't falling! We need to push it! Right! Together! Now! You came a long way and made a valiant effort, Varric, but this story does not end with my downfall. Push! You have no idea what you have done. I know what I did. I stopped you from destroying the world. I was not destroying the world! When you disrupted my ritual, the magical energies pulled me here, into the Fade. Okay, so that's why you're here. But why am I here? Your physical body is unconscious, but you shed a few drops of blood at the ritual site. Enough for a tenuous connection. Blood magic? Firstly, I abhor the use of blood magic. Secondly, had I the power to control you, I would already have used it. So all I have to do to get away from you is wake up. And how much experience do you have willing yourself from sleep to wakefulness? Can't be that hard. While you practice, perhaps you would like to hear about the consequences of your actions. Meaning? The Evanurus. Or as you would call them, the Elven Gods. The creatures that escaped. In ancient times, they ruled the Elves, but that was not enough. They sought not just to be obeyed, but to be worshipped. When I rebelled, they drew on the horrific magic of the Blight. Corrupting all they saw until I trapped them. Thanks to you, though, I am now trapped. And the blighted elven gods walk free.
How am I supposed to trust anything you're saying? You saw them escape from my prison. I also saw you bringing down the veil. I had a plan. Varric always said you'd have a big explanation for why none of this was your fault. Varric? Yeah, he said that's your style. Never quite lies, clever half-truths that let you convince yourself you're doing the right thing. He tried to talk to you anyway, and now he's hurt. Varric is... quite practiced at shading the truth himself. So those things that got out, you said they were gods? They said they were gods. Blighted, tyrannical, sadistic gods. It took all my power to imprison them millennia ago. But I am certain you will be fine. Your ritual let the gods loose. You don't get to sit back and look smug. What else could I possibly do? I do not have my ritual dagger. I do not have the network of mirrors that took me from the lighthouse across the world. I have nothing, as the gods threaten this world again. All because you disrupted my ritual. You mean when I stopped you from covering the world with demons? You will soon see what I was trying to prevent. Elganan and Gilanane are your problem to solve. This is your responsibility now. Why? Why tear down the veil? To listen. you have done. This is your responsibility now. Well, look who's still with us. Varric? You're okay, but I saw Sola stab you. You fell. Trust me, kid. I've had worse. And it take more than a flesh wound to stop me. <coughs> Don't think I'll be making it out to the field anytime soon, though. I should have come up with a better plan. I should have... You worked with what you had. And you succeeded, by the way. World isn't drowning in demons. It isn't over, though. We trapped Solus in the Fade, but something else got out. Something... Rook, you've got this. I've seen your work. Like your impulsive rescue of those captives from the Antam slavers. There's a reason I dragged you into this whole Solus mess. You're clever, adaptable, and you don't know when to quit. Rook, look who's awake. I've been searching the place for Lyrian potions. Didn't mean to intrude. <clears throat> Not at all. I was just about to have a look around. Oh, be careful if you go outside, Rook. It is a long way down. The Alluvian led us into something, and it's in the Fade, because that's what we needed. The dream world. Then I really need to look around. <sighs> Can't hurt. In theory. And we need to talk about our next move. Maybe find Harding? She went outside somewhere. There's a table in the central area here. I'll meet you both there. Go ahead, Rook. Me. I need to sleep. See you later, kid. Wish I could be out there with you, Rook. Just be careful, all right?
Rook, you're awake. And we're... In the Fade. This is where people come when they dream, but dwarves don't dream. And somehow I'm here. Yeah, it's unreal. Nev thought we should talk about what to do next. We should, but maybe look around a little? We might be here a while.